Hi everybody! So right off the bat, today's video is not about lamp working because I have no fire. But it is about decorating lamp work glass beads. So I kind of stole a little technique from the fingernail world. If you guys are interested in something new, stay tuned! Hello everyone, my name is Maria. Welcome to my studio. And today I want to show you how to stamp your lamp work glass beads. This is a brand new technique that I've never seen before, but I like it because you have so many design options. Now this is a stamp bead that I did in some marble. This one is a little purple bead that I have some leaf stamps that I did in different colors for fall. Of course, you have different designs. This is just a white on red. And I'm going to show you how to layer your stamps so that you can get these really cool little images like this. So let's go. So to start off, this process, I consider it to be a silk screening process that I kind of borrowed from the nail artists, the people who do nail stamping. And what the silk screening process consists of is first of all, you're gonna need a plate. Now these are just metal plates that have different designs. I think it's probably laser cut into them. And you can get any design that you ever could imagine in your life. So this is one of my favorite plates. It's all leaves on it. It's, it's a lot of fun. Um, you can, of course, get geometric shapes of anything that you could think of. You can get different types of scroll work and flowers. And there's a little heart. And there's a little teddy bear. Um, this plate is just all kinds of different plaids. So the design idea here are pretty endless. Anything you want, you can probably find. The second thing, of course, that you're going to need is polish. And I get my polish from a company called Mundo de Uñas. Now, you don't have to buy from this company, but what you do need to do is make sure you get stamping polish because regular nail polish isn't going to work. So this is stamping polish, and I guess the difference is it's very saturated and it's really, really thick, almost like a heavy ink. So that's what we need for this silk screening process. The other thing that you're going to need is a little scraper card. They call them scrapers in the nail world, but I, I don't know. I think they're squeegees in the silk screen world. And then this is just a little silicone stamp that you can also get off of Amazon. Of course, I have some cotton balls that we're going to use for cleanup. I have acetone, which also really helps for cleanup. And I have a lint-free roller. And this is what we're going to use to clean our stamp after each beat. So let me show you the basics and some design ideas. We'll get started. Okay, to start off with, I am going to stamp this cute little flower onto my lamp work glass bead. Now, I made this bead the other day. I put it in the kiln and I annealed it. And I left it on the mandrel because I think it's just a lot easier to stamp these beads on the mandrel than it is to try and hold on to it. So here we go. I have my black polish that I'm just going to put all over that design. And then I have my favorite little scraper here. And I'm just going to scrape that polish over that design. Take my stamper, roll it, and see how it picks up. And then you take your bead and you just stamp the design onto the bead. Just like that, you guys. It's that easy and it's that fun. I'm going to set this bead aside to dry because I got more plans for it. Stay tuned. Okay, now the fun part, <laughs> not really, is the cleanup. 
I have all kinds of polish on that plate. I'm just going to take my acetone with a cotton ball and in a pair of hemostats because I don't want to mess up my nails. And I'm just going to scrub that clean. Now for the stamper, if you have any leftover ink on, on your stamper, you can just take your lint roller and roll your stamper right on that ink roller. And it'll pick up any leftover ink that might be on your stamper. And that's how we clean up. So the second design I want to show you is on a round bead. And what I've got is I've got this black bead right here. And I'm going to stamp this yellow kind of scroll work on it. So I've got my yellow polish. Let's get it a little bit mixed up. Take that polish. And this stamp is actually a longer, a longer footprint on the plate which I use when my doing my longer nails. All right, got my scraper. We're going to scrape that polish down. Pick up as much as I can with that stamper. Grab my round bead and I'm just going to roll it right across that stamp. And you can see how that comes out. Now there is going to be, since these are designed for fingernails, there's going to be a little area because it's not really long enough, but not to worry. I still have some polish on my scraper. I'm just going to go ahead and lay that polish down. Oops. Pick up some more with my stamp and pick up where I left off right about there. Voila, that is a cool looking bead. That's fun. Okay, this next bead is called a layered stamp. And the reason it's called that is because first you stamp the background and then you come over the top of that and you stamp the outline. So this is the stamp I'm gonna use right here. This is the background and this is the outline. Now for the outline, we're going to use a special stamper called a clear jelly stamper. And the reason it's called that is because you can see through the back of it and it helps line up the outline with the background. Let me show you. So I got my orange polish. Hopefully this will lay down good. Let's see a little bit there. I've got my scraper here. And I'm just going to scrape that paint gently and pick it up with my regular stamp, just like that. And now we're going to lay it on our bead. Just like so. Now, as you can see, there's some extra paint around the edges. I just take a piece of scotch tape and press the tape on my bead and that polish will come right off. So you can clean this up a little bit if you see that there's some smudges on it. Ooh, hard to do with long fingernails. All right, let's move on to the outline. Okay, let's give this outline a shot. I'm gonna work kind of quickly because these jelly stampers can be a little persnickety and my polish is so thick that it's drying really quick. So down goes the polish. I'm gonna scrape. Just like that, take my stamp and you can see how that outline appears on the stamp. Then I'm going to line it up with that orange blob and press it down. And voila, you guys, we've got our two part stamp. Of course, I got to clean up the mess I made, but hey, you know what? It's painting. It's supposed to be messy, right? That's the fun. And there you go, you guys. That is the double stamp. Okay, so I just wanted to show you guys. I went ahead and stamped this whole bead. And I still have a bit of cleanup to do. There's some smudgy parts, like right there, that you can just kind of brush out a bit. But I think this bead overall is pretty dang cute. So that's how our double stamping came out. 
Okay, this is um, the last design that we did our first design on. Um, I like to use stamping as kind of an outline that I can paint in afterwards. So this is just plain old glass paint that you get at the hobby store or um, of course Amazon, it's Peebo. And it's the paint that people use to paint their wine glasses and their coffee mugs and so on and so forth. And I like using this paint because it's kind of transparent, like a stained glass. And you can just go in and paint all around that stamp. Now, I like to wait until the polish on my stamp is dry before I paint it because I don't know if it'll smudge or not. But I think this is kind of fun. It's very cathartic to sit here and to paint your glass beads. Okay, let's go to the final step. Okay, so those of you who do your fingernails know that a fate worse than death is having your nail polish chip. It's so annoying. And I was really worried about that with these little beads. Uh, but I read on that glass painting bottle that you should cure your beads in the oven at 300 degrees for half an hour. So this is my little polymer clay toaster oven. Got my beads on the little tray. I'm gonna put them in and set the timer for half an hour and let them cure. And I can tell you that when they come out, that paint is really hard. You cannot scrape it off. So yeah, I even, um, you know, threw these in hot water to pull them off the mandrel and was holding on to them with uh, rubber gloves in order to dremel out the bead release and the paint stayed on there really well. So I wish I could stick my fingers in there and cure my nail polish because I wrecked it. Anyways, that is the last step. Okay, you guys are probably wondering, Maria, how do I get into this without breaking the bank? So, first of all, uh, here I am on Amazon, our favorite place to shop, is this is a nail stamp kit, and it's made by a company called Pween. And, oops, there you go. There's a bigger picture. Uh, this nail stamp kit is $9.99. And in it, you get a black polish, a white polish, a little scraping card, your little silicone stamper, and a plate. And let's see, what else? Here's some of the designs. They're nail designs. They're not bead designs. This one's kind of cool. Little tiger stripes. Um, so, yeah. So, for 10 bucks, you guys can get this little kit. And I, I'm a big kit lover. I love things that come all compact in one little box. I also think that this kit is sold at Walmart. So if you happen to be by Walmart, you might want to check out the beauty section where they sell the nail polish, and maybe you can get that kit. But for 10 bucks, that's pretty dang good. Uh, there's also another kit on Amazon by a company called Born Pretty, and this is a very good company. This plate is a little more geometric. Those are wild. Um, but again, you get polish and the plate, and I think you get a little scraper and a little stamp, I think. I'm looking for it. Oh, there it is. So there's the scraper, there's the stamp, and this one is $14.99. So another little kit. I'll put links in the description below so that you guys can um, order yourself some stamping supplies. Okay, if you guys are still with me, thanks for hanging out today, hanging out in left field. My husband would call this getting squirreled. Anyways, I am off to get a new tank of propane, and I will be back next week with real fire and real lamp work. See you then. Bye.